Good morning, agents, and welcome to another daily episode of Target Loot Today, your daily farming guide for Thursday, January 7th. In this series, we cover a lot. We got the Target Loot map, Dark Zone exclusives to farm for, highlights from the weekly vendor resets, and build and farming suggestions as well. This is Shadow Gaming, and if you're new to the channel, enjoy this video, consider pressing the thumbs up and subscribe buttons below, and if you didn't, a thumbs down. And remember to comment below if you have any questions whatsoever, otherwise Otherwise, let's get this video started. Alright agents, so starting off with the dark zones and of course vendor reset highlights which are in that big bottom left overlay that pops up right now. What I would highly recommend getting this week is going to be the rail splitter with perfect accurate at DZ South vendor. Definitely worth picking up, highly recommend it as a collectible or on any AR build. And then of course over in the DZ East there's the claws out holster which you can pick up for the same 152 DZ resources if you're looking for something for your shield build. Otherwise, for the target of loot, we got Overlord at DZ West. You can farm for the Fox's pair of knee pads. They come with 8% damage to targets out of cover, and I always recommend it for, you know, pretty much any DPS build. But you can wait until Overlord is somewhere else, or you can farm knee pads today at Potomac Event Center if you don't want to go into the Dark Zone. Next up, we got holsters over here in DZ South. You know, the only Dark Zone exclusive holster is the Claws Out, which you can purchase from the DZ East vendor. So you don't have to farm for it today if you don't want to, if you like the rolls of DZ East. Or you could farm for the three, you know, exotic holsters in this game. The Waveform, which is rewarded at Season Level 90, the Imperial Dynasty holster, and the Dodge City holster as well. And then of course, Rifle Target Alluded DZ East. This is today's highlight because there's three Dark Zone exclusive rifles that are worth farming for, and I'll mention all three right now. That's gonna be the Harmony with Perfect In Sync, and then of course the Virginian with Perfect Boomerang, and the Everlasting Gaze with Perfect Perpetuation. All three of those are highly worth farming for, especially that Harmony with Perfectly In Sync. I definitely would check that out for sure. Otherwise, let's go check out now what we got on the north side. Alright agents, north side target of loot highlights, starting off with the invaded missions this week, we got Camp White Oak, and then Jefferson Trade Center, American History Museum, and then of course District Union Arena, and Tidal Basin Stronghold last. Back to normal target of loot, we got Grupo Sombro of Camp White Oak, remember one piece for DPS builds, two pieces for explosive skill damage builds, and then that's all I recommend for utilizing Grupo Sombro, you're gonna want all yellows on the second piece, all reds on the first piece, if it's just for DPS builds. And then of course strikers over here at Coney Island Amusement Park, I only recommend running three pieces for increased rate of fire and weapon handling, you know, I use it on a merciless build or an LMG build, that's just about it, I never recommend four pieces. And that's about all I recommend up here, you know, the Kenley College is closed, some of you pick your own target to lose, so now let's check out what we got on the west side. Alright agents, west side target loot highlights, starting off with the gear sets, we got a close protocol up here at downtown west, so of course you could farm for my favorite fire damage build, 4 pieces of a close protocol, the imperial dynasty holster, and 1 piece of golon gear for that 10% extra status effects, and I will have that build video in the top right title card now as well. Next up, we got Future Initiative at Constitutional Hall, great healer set, but keep in mind that the Iron Horse raid is where you get the chest and backpack, they're raid exclusive, same as Foundry Bulwark. So in lieu of that, I always run an Alp Summit chest piece with Empathetic Resolve and a backpack with Safeguard. That is a great healer build as well. Rigor, of course, over at the White House. I still do not have a build yet that I can suggest for four pieces of Rigor, but the backpack and chest piece you can get outside of the raids, and it's great for instant cooldowns and definitely supersedes the hardwired gear set. And then I just skip tip of the spear, it increases spec weapon damage. I don't ever really recommend it whatsoever. Moving on to normal target of loot, if you're looking for that force multiplier backpack with perfect combined arms, you got Hana Yu at the Pentagon today. That's 30% extra skill damage. Every three seconds you land a shot on an NPC, you want it rolled with skill haste and skill damage or skill duration and skill damage. And then of course we got Petrov at Lincoln Memorial. Today is the day to get the contractor's gloves for sure with 8% damage to armor baked right into them. They're great for any LMG build or stacking damage to armor. Remember though that Lincoln Memorial is like a mission you can complete solo, heroic, in 8 or 9 minutes, especially with my Hunter's Fury build. Definitely check that out for sure if you want to get those contractor's gloves today. Next up we got Mass at West Potomac Park. You got two exotic masks in this game, Coyotes for DPS builds and the Vile Mass for status effects and skill damage. And then of course the Punch Drunk Mass with 20% headshot damage baked into it is the Douglas and Harding Mass, which I would prefer you farm Douglas and Harding for, but if all we got today is Mass targeted loot, then farm that of course as well. 
And really the last one I'll mention is knee pads over here at Potomac Event Center. You got two exotic knee pads, Ninja Bike Messenger knee pads, and Sawyer's knee pads. Ninja Bike being for run and gun, vaulting over stuff, cover to cover, to instantly reload, and give yourself bonus armor. And the Sawyer's knee pads for sitting still. You know, every second you sit still, you get a percent of weapon damage. And I believe that goes all the way up to 30% weapon damage. And I almost missed it, but Marksman Rifles at Bank HQ today. You can farm for the Mantis or the Nemesis. Those are the two exotics in this game that are MMRs. But always remember that the Nemesis, you first need to, you know, get Puck's blueprint from Grand Washington Hotel and craft it at the White House before you can actually get it to join the target loot, you know, general target loot pool. And of course, the two named MMRs I always recommend is Ekim's Long Stick with Perfect Ranger and the White Death. You could always roll Boomerang, Ranger, or Rifleman on it. Alright agents, now let's go check out what we got on the east side. Alright agents, east side target loot highlights, starting off with gear sets. We only got two when hardwired, I think, you know, the rigor supersedes it, so I'm not even going to mention it anymore. But we do have Hunter's Fury at downtown east, and this one is still highly viable. So I'll put my favorite Hunter's Fury in the top right build right now, and I'll tell you two different Hunter's Fury builds that I use in this game. Now the first one is four pieces of Hunter's Fury, the Death Grip Gloves, which are only DZ exclusive, 511 Tactical, and then of course the Memento Backpack with the Dark Winter and the Scorpio. And I roll three armor cores on that for weapon damage cores and the skill tier you get from the Memento as well. And the alternative to that is going to be the four pieces of Hunter's Fury, the Sokolov chest piece with Obliterate and the Memento backpack, and you still want the Dark Winter and the Scorpio and three armor cores, four weapon damage cores. And speaking of Hunter's Fury, you always want an SMG with that Hunter's Fury build, so of course you could farm that Grand Washington Hotel today. Now remember you got three exotic SMGs in this game, the Lady Death, the Chatterbox, and the Backfire. The Chatterbox is a quest only exotic until you actually get it to join the target of loot pool for SMGs. You could follow my quick guide in the top right card now if you want to get that Chatterbox pretty quickly. It's actually faster than farming for it. Now remember the Dark Winter in the apartment are Dark Zone exclusive. You can only get them in the Dark Zone farming SMG target of loot if you want them to drop from an NPC. Otherwise the bottom left overlay provides you with information on how to get them otherwise. The named SMGs I do recommend the drop in the light zone though would be the Safety Distance with Perfect Outsider and the Grudge with Perfect Vindictive. Both of those are two good SMGs that do drop from NPCs in the light zone. Next up we got Badger's Tough at District Union Arena. You could farm the Zero F's chest piece with Perfect Unbreakable. Definitely great for any DPS hybrid build where you want to add a lot more survivability to yourself. And then of course Light Machine Guns at Judiciary Square. You got two exotics, Bullet King and Pestilence. The Bullet King you never have to reload and the Pestilence you can get that damage ticked to over like a million. But remember it's based off weapon damage not status effects or skill damage. And then the bottom left overlay, there's five, you know, named LMGs you can get in this game. The Black Friday is a Dark Zone exclusive. I recommend the Carnage with Perfect Sadist and the New Reliable with Perfectly Optimized. Those two are my favorites probably in the good times. Next up, we got Walker Harrison Code at Viewpoint Museum. You can farm the Chain Killer chest piece with Perfect Headhunter. Basically mandatory for any headshot damage build. And you're going to want that rolled with weapon damage, weapon handling, and headshot damage. Credit chance and credit damage don't really matter on a headshot damage build. And then chest pieces at Federal Triangle. There's two exotic chest pieces in this game, Ridgeway's Pride and the Tardigrade. The Tardigrade you could just straight up farm for. And the Ridgeway's Pride you're going to have to get from the Summit Project first. Or you can have a party member drop it for you if they, you know, have it drop. I rolled the holding over here at Jefferson Trade Center if you want to farm for that headshot damage build. Remember, you want it rolled with weapon damage, weapon handling, and headshot damage for sure. And then Bellstone Armory at East Mall. Always like this place. Four control points back to back to farm for. The Liquid Engineer with Perfect Bloodsucker Backpack is a Dark Zone exclusive. So always remember that when you're farming Bellstone, you can't get the Everyday Carrier with Perfectly Efficient. That is the one that drops outside of the Dark Zone. And then Shotgun Target Loot at Air and Space Museum today. You can get the Scorpio and the Sweet Dreams. Those are the two exotic shotguns in this game. The Scorpio completely overshadowing the Sweet Dreams in my opinion. I think it's a must-have weapon or must-have exotic for sure. It's rewarded at level season 55. And otherwise, the four best shotguns in this game is going to be the mop with 10% armor on kill, the rock and roll shotgun with perfectly extra, which is a Dark Zone exclusive, and the custom M870 and Marine Super 90 with close and personal rolled on them. Those are the four best shotguns in the game outside of the Scorpio. And here's Douglas and Harding for that punch drunk mask. And then gloves target to loot at Southwest today if you want to farm for those BTSU data gloves. Those grant you overcharge and any ally with skill tier 6 as well overcharge every time you cancel your hive. Very useful in healer and skill damage builds for sure. But that's about it for the east side. Let's go check out lastly New York City target loot highlights. 
All right, agents, last but not least, we got New York City target Alu highlights. Starting off at the gear sets, we got True Patriot at Civic Center. I will put my favorite True Patriot SMG build in the top right card now. That's four pieces of True Patriot, a Sokol of Chess with Intimidate, and the Memento Backpack. You run that with the Lady Death or the Scorpio, and you can take on anything, basically. That's solo, in group, all the way up to four people, heroic, legendary content. It kind of just does it all. And then we got ongoing directive at the tombs. You got two great bleed damage builds I'll put up right now. One is Ridgeway's Pride, four pieces ongoing directive. And then of course the Anarchist Cookbook with Perfect Wicked Backpack is definitely a great build with the Scorpio as well as the second one, which is four pieces of ongoing directive, a Badger Tough Backpack with the Creeping Death Talent, and of course the Vile Mask. And then we got Foundry Bulwark, a stranded tanker. Remember, chest and backpack are Iron Horse Raid exclusive. Otherwise, you could farm for this tank gear set here at Stranded Tanker today for sure. I always recommend mixing this with Bellstone Armory and the Emperor's Guard knee pads for the extra armor regen. For normal target Alu, we got Providence Defense at two bridges. You can farm the Sacrifice of Perfect Glass Cannon, amplifying all damage you deal by 30%, but all incoming damage to you by 60%. It's a huge risk reward factor, but it's great on any DPS or skill damage build like your Assaulter and Striker Drone build. Then we got Golong Gear at Financial District. If you want to farm for the Anarchist Cookbook with Perfect Wicked on it, it is not as Dark Zone exclusive, so you can't farm for it today at Financial District. Next up, Assault Rifles at Pathway Park. Besides the Eagle Bear, which is just Dark Hour, is raid exclusive you can get the chameleon with adaptive instincts and the capacitor with capacitance now the capacitor you have to complete five summit challenges before it joins the general target of loot pool but the chameleon you could just straight up farm for and then of course the bottom left overlay there's some great named assault rifles i recommend the test subject with perfect in sync and the mechanical animal and the burnout named famas gear system mods over here at battery park if you want to run this on heroic and try to farm for some god rolls and then we got backpacks at wall street you got two exotic backpacks in this game the memento and the acosta's go bag i think the memento is probably the best gear piece in this entire game and is highly worth farming for so definitely get yourself one or two pairs of those and last but not least we got aces and eights at liberty island i got a great headshot damage build i'll put in the bottom left overlay right now that's three pieces of aces and eights, two pieces of Araldo holding, one being a backpack with vigilance or composure on it. And then of course the chain killer chest piece running the mantis as your primary and the white death or Ekim's long stick with perfect ranger as your secondary. Well, agents, that was it for your daily farming guide today. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, consider pressing those subscribe and like buttons below, and if not, give it a thumbs down. If you'd like to become a member for extra support and exclusive perks, you can click the join button below. And thank you to all my channel members. I appreciate you guys so much, all my subs and channel members. And remember to always check the video description and pinned comment below for links to support my channel, Shadow Gaming merchandise, our Discord server, our clan on all platforms, everything. Just check it out. It's always updating with inf like good, useful information as well. Take care, agents, and be sure to stay tuned for more daily Division 2 content. This is Shadow Gaming signing off. I will see you in the next video. Take care, agents.